Um, because I Come feel like if Evan wants to value to by pick. grouping up and doing things, spamming hill when you're fighting and pushing and... And Voka, he got 5 and 1, doubled up on limp. Well, they're off to a cracking start on his puck. Bottle's coming out, it's only going to make this even more difficult for Simpy. And again, the Ember Spirit is not really being stopped from getting mastered. Slightly less than what he had in his pick last game at the stage, but... For all the the Korea! Has been killed. Limp just walks up and clicks it! No orb, no nothing needed! Oh, the top lane, okay, they kill off Swindle. Go back behind their tower. Forcing the Doom presence felt down here and with Eagle, this Earth Spirit, maybe they can do just that. The phase boots are now up for your abandon. Well, Chessy gets to hit level 6 and they're going to try and jump on him now. Going for a sword, the roll of the roll as well. Gonna land in line. Chessy can try and TP out of this one. Not sure it's going to connect. Back he will die, but on the top lane, a kill off. Limp already has a shred. Level 3 in the orb, about to hit level 7. And have that big old nuke damage and the top rune. Doesn't jump to the orb though. Bounty rune, nothing massive. One thing down the bottom lane, but speaking of bottom lane, a bad support in creepy level 6. Level 6, they know, you just point right now. Uh, they're gonna go off the tree, yeah. Kill. It's been killed. It's all safe. Ring of action free. Do you want these level 6s to come a little bit faster though? On the radiant support. They want swap, they want to. That might be more of a skin point for them than the Puck's Blink Dagger itself. But Jesse, well, Gold Smash of the Hansken, Jesse will catch the ball and the end is forward. Kill off Hansken. Mike Mike picking up that one, but they don't get the Ember Spirit. Never that match value, never as much as they'd like again. Swim up the Sphinx Station out there though, and it's a decent ball and kick in from Eagle catching him, but now there's no stuff. Tornado finally catching Sunbeam, they've got him swindled and trapped and he will die. Yeah, the again, it's four heroes in the Tell you after game's done. In the stream now. I'll tell you, he bought two pairs of brown boots and just sold one of them. He's right. been running around for the past like four minutes with two pairs of boots for like no reason whatsoever. Just made a little bit of this. Oh, speaking of mistakes. Sundles get run himself away from this. Meantime, running away from it, he runs himself into the back. Fire and fire and fire. Catch this with Nagi Fire. Is there time for song? Well, you must train, you must train harder. harder. So, moving towards his brother down the bottom lane, Chessy is farming here, but. The wife throws another splinter blast out, and they're gonna find him quite easily. This could be a free kill for him. He could be a kill for him. Chessy, Puck will secure the kill. To find such a way that it's awkward for them to play the strengths of all of their heroes. <laughs> Looks like Puck's gonna force fight at the top lane. I've got the two on Zoom Poker as well. Please to pick off Eagle Roll. They say Team Freedom. They have a relic on the top there. I'm starting a fight off on the Team Freedom. So no matter left for the Puck, just hit this bell and now the damage comes to be cleared up to be on the retreat down for some damage. Going in from the back end as well, even with a two-man shoulder smash, Eagle having difficulty sticking on the spot. Now he's fighting a sticker thing for the Magnus through, and Eagle slams down to the ground as well. Another one split, turns back to the Magnus is forming a stun, Sunbeam is trapped. Finally, the song from Francis Lee will reset and hold this spot. They grab a pack which can pretty much solo kill the Naga, I think. So it's kind of scary, actually. Fail it, they go. Radiant top talent is under attack. Yeah. Radiant top talent is under Oh, fuck. Yeah. So if you look at the actual overall net worth change, even though Naga gets radiance and then starts to farm really quickly, it hasn't changed the trend like the farm quicker than them. But the roots of increase there. Dyer's missile 
untillable, apparently. I might just can't stop this. Eagle. Oh, but Gurus exit. Oh, I split hands to the vegetable spirit. Again, we go back to the lanes. Mid, Sea Freaks there, cheering for complexity. Oh, hello, Swindles TPs in. Under the watchful eyes of some bee, and there we go. We made him pull the cap and go to walk. He was invoked. We made him escape from the end. Just your backup plan in case. I'm gonna stop that. Track. Allow for the escape of the rest of the Team Freedom heroes, but hang on a second, Krampus Lee. They're gonna try and take this one down, but you'll separate in a second of a fast roll. Crown, gonna come through, but we're looking to close up the gap, and this is not short. But she was saving her teammates, but give up her own life in exchange. The gem is dropped in the Not your typical Naga player, right? Usually this hero is very focused on just getting his time and getting it. They are gonna catch the dude. That's nothing. Doesn't really depend on the target buyback. Let's get the rush, I think. He's forced out. He's forced out. Flying slowly, but slowly testing the walk into some fun stuff. Flying the geomagnetic grip. They're going to try and steal the rope. He's hit by the Nugget Star and an outdrop the chest. He doesn't actually have a spot in the end. He's good enough to steal. Oh, nice tornado combo into the boulder smash, but the people think he's got a ton of damage. He's killed off by an agent rat. Question is, do they continue to chase this on board? They want to find Francis Lee on the back end, triple tapping against that one, but the two on the other side, but you've got to pay attention to Francis Lee, the one who loses the agent. Straight out. Kill the road shaft, what are they getting out of it? That guy, he's going to take another two back on the dark side. Five, Mike's moving on to the middle, one, he's going to turn around and try to back up against the two, and will do so. Still quite a bit. Jesse clears up one, looks to chase down to the others, it's I, Mike, and they want to kill, and they will probably find him. Jesse with another slight change to catch him. No, missed him. Still kill him. I'll get yeah. Siren escape. I just head up on the bundles here. Yeah, I'm not sure if can come on join him. Naga can see me. I'm not looking to be the main person to be finished with me. So it's not the crowd. All gonna fight, TB from left jumps in for the start, there's some B drops below the kill off Swindle, but Limp into prison went up, he needs to kill this off, but some B barely escapes! Limp is sunk! Empress Burger gets the kill down to the bottom. Go. Nice Mike, OP and Limp is actually our play again, and we'll back to the house, and we'll find some up and we'll set the dirt off and link away, and Ice Mike is gone, the boot falls down to the Eagle only, Swindle's up on the front line, trying to rip a part of Ice Mike, but it's the only damage. There's a nice one, it goes back on the Swindle, though he's gonna die barely. Drop by his teammates. Freedom's gonna one for one. That's great for a while ago. Swindle's just been aggressively keeping it like this for the majority of the game. Pop the snap and charge, and he looks for something on anyone who can, but it could be from back in the ball to back and do one for both little cats in here, but Swindle's bashing against Ice Mike. I'm bad at and this is not working out, but Swindle split up my eyes, Mike, in that really awful of German boy. Jesse chases on forward. I'm happy to have granted that you have never built it, maybe that stops being there. How did you give up the fight? For the safety of Jesse? Jesse! Look at you, will be. Got Manta in three, Blink in one, to whip away from this. Like you said, you haven't done so, but that's all right. Well, I guess you could all through from Blink and try and trap him in. But in comes Brown to sleep. Nice fire. Absolute pest. And Jesse might even die here to finish, but they think it was Mega Kill Streak and Mega Kill Streak aren't going to be happy with that one. All starters with a Wizard's Curse and two play. Casting out the teleportation away from Chessy and Swindles now might be caught over towards this side. Jungle! Now the ground's trying to fight and the fact he'll kill the Winter Wiser in a few easy clicks. BKB TP. Now this is gonna work. Very peculiar series of events. He's struggling with for most of the game, but they make it work, but he doesn't have a remnant of like OP, all he wants to do is OP. But now it's OP, even I'm an extra I feel like it's almost just because, because of that same kind of thinking of like, oh, we're doing fine, we don't need to have a plan. Like, it's not having a plan while we want to do 
Mike, Mike is very far up here, but he's in the back of the Oh god, that's so attacked, but still back with the guard speed, helping out a touch as well. Mike, Mike, to run into the middle of this battle, he's actually turned up and held him in place. The damage he's got to go this time, climbing not there. A bad multi too strong for oh, Major Prophet. What is Swindle doing? Yeah, they jump for the forward as well. There's a chase, Solid and Sire is trying to slow this one down and still be able to keep it. A TP from Francis Lee, but this is the rest of the board. That's a blink. He's looking for the Hex as well. It's good. You'll have to add the Hex. He's going to jump forward. You're right. Slow just moving to the rush bit. Rushan comes out to meet them. Radio Hello guys, welcome to my humble abode. Really, so simple to kill as well. Oh, Ike, Mike, Ike, Mike, get it there, look, 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 Freedom! Yeah, the Sun Strike on the front end as well, they kill off the enemy. He's gonna force them my back. That tornado, they head up back to sleep. Angry with their heart, passing the old Greek core, they turn back to the door. That's the charge is there, but Chess is in flyback, he has to get some work done. Swindle takes back into the fast arc fight, he's over top, they jump forward again with the other grip, but the down jab right here, onto Arc Mike, he's getting up to Chess for it, but he's just having fun. Well, he's fighting, but he will get burnt down. The dive action is blood on the second. For the Naga, still battling through onto these racks, and I might have a second life. Team Freedom might have just taken game number two with that one. We have to throw down the steel and turn. Complexity gaming, they've moved up to the Wyvern, and the Sunstrike over the front line nearly catches Swindles. The racks are gone. Alright, Mike holds this up again. People battling through it all. And Wait, but he's rolled into the wrong neighborhood. What? The special spirit that he's freaking doing. Being absolutely shredded by Francis Lee on the Naga Siren. Just running forward on the Song of the Siren. They'll catch out two of them here. Fight, no flyback available over the next drop, but it's down to the Ember Spirit, Huck and Sue to defend the high ground, defend the base, and defend against this Naga Blood Siren, who jumps in order for the Sun Strike Deep Freak. He's dropping lower and lower, even the Naga Green, he's gonna die! Rolls on and roll the back, not quite here, but it's that great start from left, so Deep Freak finally back in the battle and has no survive. In the meantime, back to falling. Got like 30 ticks the I think it's too much. cannot be killed, cannot be fucked, cannot be destroyed. Even with Limp and Chessie having such a brilliant start to this game, Team Freedom is able to kill up another lane of racks, and Francis Lee does not give a solitary fuck about your four heroes around his Naga. He will song, he will TP, and he will be found. Butterfly Heart, Octarine Core, I mean, hello? Francis Lee just walks straight towards Swindles. Well, Ninja's Buffet, where are you gonna go? In the meantime, up at top lane, a ban gets a kill over the Doom and Swindles. He's dead, the Winter's Curse, that's not gonna climb up with the yeah, Still plays aggressively with the Naga Illusions. When you die to the Naga Illusion and an Illusion alone, 
You know, things are getting pretty rough. Where's the stop strike going? He's trying to catch Limp out with the tornado across. Maybe pass with his all forward. Limp jumps onto it, and now he's back into his own face. He's definitely got a fairly fresh look from Yulka there onto himself. But what's his game plan? Spaceship. There's the blip. He jumps. It's all but dies. The buyback. He might jump onto the door. He's going to stay in the fountain for now, but it's just sheer force that are dying. And that's his lead start in Tyrant. It's untouchable. Even with a jump in now, Limp is getting stuck. Slam them a little bit, but Team Freedom. Cannot be killed. Cannot be killed. The Freak is trapping him there and just set up in the tornado. Slam down with the media. But your throne is falling and complexity. You're going to have to concede game number two here. Team Freedom to roll into the fountain. The ghost ever pick up an eagle. Keeps him alive. I might. I think Swindle probably said to his team, sorry, my bad, this one's on me. Because, it, it, like, his, like, chain of unnecessary deaths was kind of, like, I think what set the, the tone for them to lose focus on the game. And, it, 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 I mean, believably to me, it could be related to, you know, he's meant to be the guy making the, the calls.